As you know, the uh, verdict uh, by the International Tribunal for the Law of Disease, uh, ITLOS, in Germany, held Bangladesh establishing sovereign rights to 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone in the Bay of Bengal. Uh, in the same way, the verdict with India also allowed Bangladesh uh, sovereign right of the continental shelf extending up to 354 nautical miles. Uh, blue ocean economy represents 3.5% of global GDP. And I believe India's blue economy to GDP contribution is around 4.1%. Uh, annual 10% of China's GDP was from ocean economy. In Indonesia, about 20% of GDP. According to World Bank, Bangladesh ocean economy stands at 3.1% of the country's overall GDP. Therefore, there remains a huge potential of the ocean economy which can be utilized for taking this ratio regional and global average. Uh, as you know, Joel, that Bangladesh has 710 kilometers long coastline with an exclusive economic zone of 200 nautical miles inside the Bay of Bengal. Marine fisheries contribute 19.4% of the total fish production of the country. Besides, on an average, 81% of the international tourist visit Cox's Bazaar in Bangladesh, which is near the ocean and it's an ocean city. It's a tourist resort. The ocean of Bangladesh is contributing a noteworthy role to its overall socioeconomic growth through enhancing the economic activities across the country and especially to the coastal zone at Southern Perth. A new economic area for Bangladesh is demarcated in the Bay of Bengal already. Bangladesh has taken step to flourish its blue economy in order to utilize its new marine resources since 2015. The government of Bangladesh has undertaken a number of consultations and workshops on blue economy. In addition, seven five-year plan of Bangladesh has mentioned 12 actions for maintaining a prosperous and sustainable blue economy, which include fisheries, renewable energy, human resources, transshipment, tourism, and climate change, among others. Moreover, in 2017, the Blue Economy Cell under Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Bangladesh has been established with the mandate to coordinate Blue Economy Initiative across sectoral ministries. Blue Economy has the prospect to contribute Bangladesh economy on a much higher level. 26 potential Blue Economy sectors have been identified by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Bangladesh, which include the fishery, maritime trade and shipping, energy, tourism, coastal protection, maritime safety, and surveillance for development of blue economy in Bangladesh. Bangladesh has adopted steps to ensure sustainable use of the ocean, seas, and marine resources, attaining inclusive development and goal related to sustainable development goal, SDG. Shipping, uh, mostly the Bangladesh external freight trade is seaborne, uh, which is in 2018, 90% of the total freight trade of the country. Therefore, it appears that our economy may heavily depend on freight trade in future. So to retain the huge amount of freight charges within the country, incentives might be provided to local shipping companies to add more ships to the existing fleet. Fishery is another sector. Experts opine that fish alone has 500 varieties besides snails, shellfish, crabs, sharks, octopuses, and other animals. It is estimated that Bangladesh catches only 0 0.70 million tons of fish every year out of the total 8 million tons of fish available in the Bay of Bengal. It is worthwhile to mention that 15% of the protein is provided from sea resources for the people across the world. As many people depend on ocean for their livelihood and food increase efforts and needed to save ocean resources. Oil is another sector Bangladesh is yet to access the true potential of its offshore gas prospects. Bangladesh could also have gas fields in its area of the sea. Bangladesh process poses some gas fields in the land and like Myanmar, Bangladesh may have the potential to get more gas fields in the sea, which may add to the total reserve of gas of the country. 
Beside oil and gas, sea salt, ocean renewable energy, blue energy, osmosis, and biomass, aggregates, mining, sand, gravel, etc., and marine genetic resource should get more attention as ocean resources. Uh, therefore, this plenty of there is uh, plenty of potential may contribute to our sustainable economic development in future. Tourism is another sector. Globally, coastal tourism is the largest market segment and represents 5% of world gross domestic product and contributes 6 to 7% of total employment. In 150 countries, it is one of five top export earners, countries, least development countries. Coastal tourism includes a beach based recreation and tourism, tourist activities in proximity to the sea, and sea. Nautical boating, including yachting and marine mariners. Sustainable tourism can create new employment opportunities and reduce poverty. Future of exploration, exploring and exploiting these sea resources through the use of appropriate technology. The economy of Bangladesh can grow rapidly. Bangladesh gained a defined maritime zone in the Bay of Bengal after a long-term dispute settlement of maritime boundary with India and Myanmar. Bangladesh may pay attention in advancing its blue economy to utilize its vast sea region with sea-based resources through ensuring a sustainable balance between the protection of maritime ecosystem resources. Our country has uh, so far explored only a few number of blue economy sectors, such as fisheries and aquaculture, shipbuilding, shipbreaking, salt generation, and port facilities. Besides, most of these sectors are following traditional methods. Therefore, there still remains ample opportunities as well as challenges for exploring large number of blue economy sectors, uh, safeguarding mangrove and ocean grass, addressing environmental changes and managing carbon discharge, and introducing innovative technology for further development to contribute in achieving sustainable development goals. Another thing is, uh, one thing is very important that uh, sustainable fishing is the most important activity uh, of the ocean economy. Sustainable fishing means leaving enough fish in the ocean, respecting habitats and ensuring people who depend on fishing can maintain their livelihood. Traditional fishing must be replaced by sustainable fishing practices. In the Philippines, the Tagbanua people have traditionally employed fishing practices that simultaneously harvest and maintain fish population. Moreover, we also need to ensure that the fishermen of the country are rehabilitated during the seasons when fishing is prohibited. Uh, we lack cold chain. The cold chain system in the fishery is a temperature dependent chain storage system. Uh, from the quality perspective, fresh seafood means that fish stock has been stored at zero centigrade, zero degree centigrade, and for frozen seafood, it means 18 degrees centigrade or colder from the sea to the consumer. The World Fisheries and Aquaculture reported that access to ice plants, cold rooms, and other infrastructure, infrastructure support for cold chain is still inadequate in Bangladesh. To ensure a foreset potential, public and private sector can work, in tandem for a common development of the sectors, frequent exchange of delegation, information, knowledge, and training between private sector and public sector can help capacity building of private sector. Enriching maritime resources skills as well opens up investment for private sector and tax foreign investment for tech and knowledge transfer. Joint research studies of potential avenues like ocean infrastructure, fishery, shipping, and offshore energy through public-private partnership model, and national blue economy development and implementation roadmap is needed. The specifying role of private and public sector. Government can ensure regulatory support in capacity building, skills development, and innovation in this sector. To meet the long-term and low-cost financing needs in blue economy scopes, capital market-led bond financing, blue bonds for the business and government agencies in ocean economy. The private sector also needs incentivized with fiscal and non-fiscal support, such as tax holidays, 
tax exemptions, free technological support, etc., to exploit desired growth. So as far as Bangladesh is concerned, Joel, we are going forward uh, with a plan, uh, but I think our private sector is the sector which need to be utilized and be financed in any manner the government can. Uh, it's, it's better that it's let less intervention, intervention of the government. This is my personal opinion. Uh, if we strengthen our uh, blue economy, I think Bangladesh can gain a lot. And in this region also, we can have a regional committee as well, India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, uh, Myanmar, uh, possibly, uh, to strengthen and enrich and enhance our note. Um, uh, I would like to thank you and I would like to end my pitch. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you, Mr. Mahmoud. Uh, I thank you and we thank you. Uh, you've brought through many aspects. Uh, I, I can't do justice to all. Uh, just to personally flag two issues where there's a common resource uh, or at least a common uh, treatment. Uh, one is the oil and gas, not presuming about the, the way the AFD engages in this sector, being of course engaged in, 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 the, in the matter of uh, fighting against global warming, but we all know that gas has at least a transitory role in energy transitions. Uh, the, the fact that oil and gas would be exploited without pollution and also without gas flaring is something you've not mentioned, if, uh, unless I missed it, but uh, it's, it's extremely important. There's a World Bank uh, uh, initiative against gas flaring, and that's very important. That's something of maybe international interest. And of course, topic which has been largely debated in our group, uh, the, the common joint preservation, preservation of, of, of fishing, where, um, as I was flagging uh, prior to, to your, your discussion, uh, uh, the role of the private sector is important, is all the more important that we have large vessels, we have small fishermen, uh, small companies, uh, everyone ought to be able to contribute and have the responsibility to contribute to the preservation of the ecosystem based on their skills, based on their understanding, based on their financing. And maybe there's a way for public finance to balance that and to bring back some kind of equality of access to this responsibility of sharing the, uh, the, 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 the responsibility of keeping the, 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 the resource. 